Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Chosen bringing you a live audio commentary for the championship series of MK13 Public Tournament number 24. And uh, this is the first time out of the 24 tournaments that we have an all MK13 final. It's going to be MK Damon 13 playing Zerg in orange in the top middle position versus MK Nasty playing Protoss in purple at the top left position. And it looks like he's scouting very quick here. So and Dame is going for the choke early, so that's very ballsy. Uh, if he's going to definitely be going for some sort of a gateway build here now, he's going to throw down in probably four gateways and zell out rush the choke point to try to stop Damon from getting sunken colonies and being able to mass for a late game. Um, pretty standard. Uh, Zerg like to choke in one versus one, so they have time to uh, prevent their opponent from wreaking havoc on their drones and they have time to get things up and get the game in order the way they want to do it. So it's going to be a Protoss versus Zerg and there are the four gateways going up. Um, both players have had a pretty smooth road to the championship. I don't think either one of them had too crazy of a game. Um, Nasty just had to beat MK Gizmo 13 Protoss versus Zerg so his Protoss is going to be warmed up and ready to go. He just played Protoss's last game and this is a random versus random tournament, so both these players were random, and neither one of them knew what their opponent was until they scouted. But obviously, they both know now. Damon has an overlord over here, right on top of these gateways, so he knows this rush is coming. And Nasty had a probe up here, so he knows exactly what's going on in Damon's base. He knows he's choking, he knows exactly what's happening, and exactly what to prepare for. He went the uh, Zealot route, so he's going to be rushing instead of getting a Nexus or two for a late game mass. So it's absolutely imperative that he does a lot of damage with this Zealot harass and this Zealot rush. Uh, Zergling's coming into play now, and a Sunken Colony is going to be morphing in about 10 seconds. Um, he could run these zealots by, but there's too many zerglings, it's not going to matter. And I think Damon has this, and there the sunken colony pops, and that's the end of the zealot rush. So, good job by Damon, and now he's just overdoing it. Three sunken colonies, and uh, one, two, three, six zerglings is going to be absolutely... And he went for a second hatchery here at the choke. That's very interesting, I don't know if I've ever seen that. He went for a second hatchery at his choke point. Damon is primarily a uh, non-money map player. You know, maps like Python and Lost Temple and Katrina and the more pro-type maps. So he is a relatively inexperienced, fastest player, but his StarCraft talent, uh, basically he just started playing it and he's good enough to make it to the finals of this tournament. So it obviously shows uh, how much skill you can have if you're a good low money pro map type player and now the Zergling's coming in to harass he's killed two probes three probes and he's going for a fourth probe he's get killed a fourth probe maybe he's gonna get a fifth he kills five probes so far and that's at six probes seven probes wow eight probes he just killed eight probes with six Zerglings that is absolutely huge absolutely huge he probably only he's got nasty has 28 supply so <laughs> he's got 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 of that tied up in zealots he's only mining with about 11 probes right now and we're all and we're four and a half minutes into the game that's absolutely huge I really believe that that's gonna be enough of an advantage for Damon to take advantage of and really set himself up to take a victory in this game because there's but there is a cyber core up and it's that has that probably morphed in at about four minutes he's not researching anything but he has no gas yet he went for the cyber core but he got so distracted that he has no gas and he's gonna be trying to harass his choke point again and run past it but there's just too much there those zealots are gonna get by but there should be some zerglings to cope no there are no zerglings wow he runs past that choke point and he's got four zealots in here to wreak havoc on these drones he's got one he's killed two drones <laughs> he's absolutely wreaking havoc on these drones he killed about three, four. He's going for a fifth here. Zerglings pop, and he starts attacking Zerglings. He needs the micro and attack those drones. He kills six drones. So both these players really harassing each other's money and doing a good job of it. Six drones, that's huge too. He only had about 
23 drones or so and he lost six of them so losing about 25 percent of his economy there very good her very good zealot uh run by on the choke point there and this choke point is absolutely crazy for five minutes into the game uh he's not going to be able to do any sort of a zealot attack on that choke point and take it down he's got no choice but to pump from these three nexuses and hope he can cope with the late game zerg with the storms but since uh, the positions are top left for the Protoss and top middle for the Zerg, given the uh, build and the way the match has gone so far, I would have to give the advantage to Zerg in that position because this corner right here, this, this ramp right here, he's going to be able to post up Guardians all along this ramp. And it's going to be tough for Protoss to get their units all the way up this narrow choke point to attack this sunken colony mass here and the guard and the guardians can just wreak havoc if you micro them well so I do believe that this game is uh, so far advantageous to Damon uh, the Zerg player here in the top middle